Around here, it's wine, wine, and more wine. Oh. But me, I prefer wine. That's my news. Or work and no play, right, Witcher? Here in Beauclair, all's right and fair. You are the famed Geralt of Rivia, are you not? From. Can't rightly say, sir. I was just to deliver it. Here. Thanks. No, sir. Thank you. And I truly hope I'll be of service again. My dear Geralt. I hope all is well. I imagine you hot on the trail of some nasty monster. Or is it an overly complex curse this time? Oh, Geralt, I wish I knew for certain. Whatever is keeping you busy, perhaps you'll need a break. For those moments, I offer you this intriguing little mystery I happened on in an old manuscript I bought off a merchant from Nazaire. The tome's author claims a certain Professor Moreau, once called Beauclair Home, and this professor conducted research into Witcher mutations. I don't know much else, but I suspect that alone might pique your interest. The tome mentioned a journal interred with the scholar when he passed. It could very well lead you to his laboratory. I'm enclosing a map I found folded in the tome. It's smudged in a few places, but I hope it proves useful anyway. Please be careful and come back to me quickly. Your Triss. Hmm. A professor who studied Witcher mutations might actually be worth looking into. Fiddlesticks, these numbers don't add up the way I like. Greetings, brave hero. I am Raphael de Surman, and I am the Ducal Camarlengo. I'm Geralt. So what is it you do here? I pay the knight's errand. For what? Our knights want of the roads protecting Tusa from bandits and monsters. It is fitting and just that they be recompensed appropriately for these toils. Uh, note, sir, that should you successfully smash your hands, Save a brother knight from peril, or extract a captured merchant from the hands of cutthroats. Come see me. You shall be rewarded. Can't help but be curious, but where do the funds for those payments come from? The Ducal Treasury, of course. Her illustrious highness, Anna Henrietta, assigns great value to bravery and selfless patriotism. It is her standing order that any knight, 
may receive a wage. <coughs> Pardon me. Financial compensation for his dedication to defending the Duchy's internal security and order. Wouldn't happen to play Gwent, would you? Watch out again. Greetings, Knight. Wouldn't mind a glance at your books. Ones you're willing to sell, that is. Well, see you later. Go in peace for a night. Fiddlesticks, these numbers don't add up to. Our Duchess is usually mm. very kind. Do you like it? Might be worth looking into. Welcome to La Scanty is Dante, but it's an escort. Not something I do often, but might be worth investigating. A copper, that is all I ask. It's 
inscriptions in elder speech. Salvation lies not in Dolnevde, but in our hearts. Glory be to Eldarin. Damn. Professor's journal's long gone. Guess somebody else found out about it too. Should look around, see if I can find something else. Footprints. Narrow and shallow. Somebody small, light. Woman, maybe? Wonder where they lead. Damn it, trail breaks off. Wonder if the grave robber learned more than I did. Professor certainly can't do much to help me with my search. Hmm, won't learn anything else here. Map Triss sent me will have to do. Also, Epitaph mentioned both Elorin and Dolnevde, Valley of the Nine. Hmm, the site marked on the map's all wet now. Some tour flows through there. Must be where the Valley of the Nine once lay. Need to explore the location. of order is this? No. Why doesn't someone do something? Well, what? What's going on? Pretty crap idea, sleeping in the clogs. Mm. Unless you don't mind some clever little beast making off with your coin pouch. Ah, the notice. Is that it? Are you a witcher, master? Noises at the cemetery. You the one they bother? Yes, yes. And I'm alone in that, it seems. That is... No one else has bothered to take any steps, though all must hear the racket. I took the matter up with the Ducal Guard. They claim they found nothing, but I'm not sure they even bothered to look. What's left for me to do? Should I sniff about the cemetery myself? The noises, they pretty regular? Each night, I live next door. I hear it loud and clear, as if through a horn someone had stuck in my ear. Ah! Hawk! Ooh! Fick! And then, whack! Thud! As if a mother bear slammed pate first into a cupboard. Know exactly what you mean. How much will I get for this? How much would you like? Hmm. I don't believe I have that amount. What would you say to a festival discount? On account of the, uh, tourney? Hmm. I don't believe I have that amount. What would you say to a festival discount? On account of the, uh, tourney? Agreed. Fine, I'll tend to it. Any victims? Someone go missing recently? Or are we just talking noises? No one's come to harm, thank the gods. Why? Do you think it might be a monster? Could be, but doesn't need to, though. Might also be grave robbers, tramps. Remains to be seen. I can't rightly say what would be worse. Whatever the case, Godspeed, Master.
another murder by the horrid beast! Milton the Peyra! Greetings. A witcher from the school of the wolf, here in Tucson. Greetings. I'm Lazar Lafarg. Geralt of Rivia. Seem pretty enthused. Got a job for me? Rather. Mind you, it's no monster hunt, but I'm sure you'll be interested all the same. I'm an armorer, see, and I for years sought diagrams for witcher armor of exceptional quality, Grandmaster level. Heard of them. Never seen any, though. Thought they were lost. Not quite. For I've been lucky enough to learn that their holders came to Tucson. Alas, they then perished, but I know where. I just need a partner to help me retrieve them. If you know where to look, why not get them yourself? No offense, but do I look like a rough-hewn adventurer? Besides, who would serve my clients while I romped about seeking them? No, I rather leave it to someone familiar with such matters. Bring me the diagrams, and from them I'll forge for you whatever you fancy. All these diagrams somehow wound up in Tucson? How is that even possible? Tusa was once home to Tien Said, a legendary and now deceased elfin master armorer. Witches from all corners of the world came to him to forge their plate, their mail. Heard about him. Supposed to have been the best. And thus he charged the king's ransom for his work. Witches would take difficult, dangerous work to earn the coin to pay him. Some, alas, met with misfortune, and the diagrams they carried were left to rot with their earthly remains. Got it. Find them, find the diagrams. But how can I know where to look for their remains? As it happens, I learned my trade at Jensai's side. So I heard the stories of the missing witches firsthand. What he told me... Well, that is what discouraged me from seeking the diagrams out myself. We must strike a deal. I shall tell you all I know. In return, once you've found the diagrams, you will let me draft a copy. This elven master... How'd he end up taking a human for an apprentice? My father forged armor. As a youngster, I helped him, then began forging my own pieces. Master Tien Sail saw my work and offered to take me on as his apprentice. Only now, years on, do I realize the honor that was. Alas, my master perished in a massacre later, slain by racists. Though he taught me everything he knew, I did not manage to complete the guild's requirements for Grand Master while he lived. I know I have no equal in the trade. Yet, until I complete Witcher armor of Grand Master quality, I shall never be certain I've become my teacher's equal. Where do I look for these diagrams? I know of five likely fallen witches, each from a different school, of the wolf, griffin, cat, bear, and manticore. Which should I start with? Tell me about my brother, the wolf. His name was Atom. I remember him well. My master liked him. Helped him find a safe, yet well-paid contract. A few years ago, an archaeological expedition arrived in Tucson from Castel Gropia. They questioned my master about the elfin ruins at Termes. He warned them of the danger there and recommended they take Aton as an escort. What kind of danger did he mean? Any idea? Legend claims wraiths haunt the chambers beneath Termas. I cannot say if there is any truth to this, but both the scholars 
and the Witcher disappeared without a trace. The Griffin. What can you tell me about him? He came some 200 years ago, but my master remembered him well. This Witcher was not stripped off emotions, you see, as his colleagues were. He had taken on a contract at Fort Usa and required better gear. He showed my master his diagrams, paid a deposit, and was never seen again. Apparently, he rode off one night from the fort, never to return. Any idea where he went? No. It said he left in a rush, so he may have left something behind. Only ruins remain of Fort Usa, but you may wish to search them. Let's talk about the cat. A year ago, Bartolome de Lornay, the ducal armorer, asked me to confirm the authenticity of a Witcher diagram he had received by messenger. You see, at the time he was working on new armor for the Ducal Guard. A Witcher from the School of the Cat offered to sell him diagrams for a full set of gear. The diagrams would have been helpful indeed. The diagram you saw, was it really a Witcher diagram? Beyond any doubt. It's a shame Delaunay didn't let me draft a copy. He was quite shaken up, afraid the Witcher might simply kill him and take his coin. Possibly a well-founded fear. Soon after, Delaunay disappeared without a trace. I would have searched his former home for clues, but it has fallen into disrepair, and it is simply too dangerous there. Tell me more about the bear, can you? He appeared shortly after Master Tiensail took me on as his apprentice. I remember the bear head medallion that hung from his neck. I remember a towering witcher who haggled like a fishwife. <laughs> Witchers never have too much coin. True. This one clearly was not wealthy. But he pledged to bring us coin after he completed a contract at the Tufo Vineyard, where a building had just collapsed. Time passed, the bear never showed, and my master sent me to the Tufo estate. As it turned out, the Witcher had indeed accepted a job. Yet that was all they heard of him, and that is all I know. School of the Manticore. Probably know the least about it, though once, long ago, wore some armor forged there. My master said the Manticores have their fortress in the Far East. A century passed, one of their number came to him, a witcher named Merton. He made a poor impression on my master. He stank like a dwarf and still, and uh, quarreled fiercely all the time. Tien Sahil slammed the door in his face and told him to return when he sobered up. He would conduct no business with a drunk. The Witcher, however, failed to return. Folk say he got into a booze-fueled brawl with the Ducal Guard. He was arrested and sentenced. Bastoy Prison, where he was held, well, it's been a ruin for years. Still, you may want to start your search there. What do you have on offer? Farewell. Good luck on the path.